Now, before we turn on your Mac, you do have to turn on your keyboard right here. So on the top, you're gonna see this slider and to turn on your keyboard, all you guys have to do is slide this and it's supposed to be green. So once you guys see that green, this has been turned on. To charge it up, all we have to do is plug this in, this cable that came, which is the same thing as an iPhone cable or iPad cable, into your keyboard, and then this end to your Mac. To turn on your trackpad or mouse, it's the same thing. We will have a slider right here. We're just gonna slide that, and you guys will see that it's green. Once it's green, it means that it's turned on, and you're good to go. In order to charge this, Right here, all you guys need is the same thing, your cable. So your cable, it's very similar. Actually, it's the same one as the one that you guys would get with an iPhone, iPad. So you just plug it in right here. This end will go to your Mac and you guys can fully charge it up. However, right now that you guys are just getting started with your Mac, there's no need to charge. They have sufficient charge in order to get started. Now we're gonna go ahead and turn it on. Remember that your button's on this side, on the left-hand side. Just press it and then just wait for an Apple logo to load up. Now, as your Apple logo just booted up, this is the first screen you're gonna select. So we're gonna go ahead and select English. That's the first language up there, or you guys can choose any other language for this matter. So as long as that's selected, we're good to go. We can just press enter or return key on our keyboard. Then we're gonna see this screen where it says welcome. Just select your country, it can be any country. We're gonna select continue. Oh, and continue. And now we have to hook it up to our Wi-Fi network. So I'm gonna look for my current Wi-Fi network. I want it to be YouTube, tech and design, perfect. I'm gonna put in my passcode. It's very important that you guys have internet to do the setup because you will need an Apple ID in order for your Mac to be registered under your name. We're just gonna hit on continue. And this is the most important part for most of you. Now, some of you may have a Mac from before, so the best way to transfer information is using Time Machine. So that's our very first option up here. Time Machine, it's just using an external hard drive. I do have a separate video showing you guys how to transfer your old information from your other iMac into this new iMac or even a MacBook Pro into this new iMac. If you don't want to transfer anything or you're brand new to iMac, you would choose don't transfer any information. So we're just going to do that. And here comes the part about your Apple ID. It's very important that you guys create an Apple ID if you don't have one. You do not need a credit card, so don't worry about that. And you guys can enter your Apple ID right now if you already have one. Of course, if you guys don't really don't want to, just set up later and forget about it for now. However, I want to register this iMac to my Apple ID and I want to get everything that I can. Because with my Apple ID, I can download apps and I can get a lot of stuff. Plus all my contacts and stuff will transfer on just from using my Apple ID. Once I put in my password, I will just go next. And then it's gonna ask me for this, if I want to do that. In this case, I do not. Now your email is supposed to be up there. Just make sure it's the correct email. This is up to you guys. Um, I do suggest using two factor, but in this case, I will not. Down here below, we do have to agree. So let's just click right there. Again, we're gonna have to agree. Just click up there. From here, just filling all the information. If you guys wanna take out the password later on, we can. So a lot of people don't like to have to put their password every time since you just have it at home and only you use it. So we can take that out later on. But for now, we will have to put in a passcode. So down here, you guys can see that it says, allow my app ID to reset this password. You guys can put a check mark there or just take it off. It's up to you guys if you want to reset it just in case you forget. Once you fill in that information, just go on to continue and it's gonna set up our iCloud. So in this case, you have to make sure you're still signed into the app ID that you want to. That's gonna be up here. And then we're gonna see this express setup. I suggest just going to express setup. You don't really need to customize your settings, but you can if you want to, just by clicking down there. We're just gonna go on to continue. Now, here's this part. You don't need to share this, but I always like to share with developers so they can improve Apple. So I'm gonna hit on continue. This part is all about screen time. So in this case, I would suggest doing screen time if you have kids or anything like that, because you guys can set up a lot of restrictions around this, or if you want to measure how much screen time you're on your Mac, go ahead and set this up, sure. However, if uh, this is your personal Mac, you're just gonna use it for work or for whatever, and you don't really care of an app telling you how much you used it, or setting up any privacy 
then go ahead and just set up later. So I'm going to click up here, set up later, screen time, and Siri. Siri setup is the same if you guys have an iPhone or iPad. We will be able to ask Siri things. So we can enable Siri down here. Just make sure you have a check mark and go ahead and continue. Now you can choose to share your audio recordings or not now. So it depends if you guys want to share that info or not. For me, it would be no. So I'm going to go ahead and continue. Okay, this part's very important because a lot of you may not want to pay for iCloud Drive and that will get filled up very, very fast if you guys have these check marks on. So I'm going to suggest taking these check marks off. If you guys are already paying for iCloud Drive, then sure, you guys can store documents in your iCloud Drive and uh, because you only guys only get five gigs free. Other than that, you will have to pay. So I would suggest just taking those off. For pictures, for example, we have Google Photos, which can store them for free. So you don't see that necessary. And for files, well, if you want to keep them online, sure, I guess. But I would suggest just looking into prices of others and then just comparing what you want. This is your personal preference. So right now, it's a big deal uh, between light, dark, and auto. So what you guys mostly want is light for those of you who like that classic look. Other than that, dark. For me, I like dark, especially because it changes everything to dark. And I just like the way that looks. So right now you guys could see I changed it to dark. However, to make this video, it's actually easier to make it and leave it up to light. We can change this whenever we want in system preferences later on. And it's very easy to do. I'm just gonna go ahead and continue on. Right now it's just setting up our Mac. So congrats guys, you are done setting up your Mac right now. We can go ahead and start using our Mac. Now remember that I do have separate videos showing you guys a quick manual of your Mac. So if you're brand new to iMacs or MacBook Pros or anything Mac related, there's a manual that I have for you to follow. Other than that, we are done our setup. You guys can go ahead, get started, and enjoy your Mac. That's it for this video. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.